Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my four button combination lock. So let's show you how this thing works and then we're gonna start building it. So my combination is four, one, three, two. So if I put that in, the door should open up. So four, one, three, two. And my door should open up. I should be able to go inside of it. Once I'm inside of it, I can click this button, which will pull this block back, thus closing my door. And if I wanna leave, I can just click this button. Now, of course, you, you don't have to use an iron door. You can use whatever you want. If you do not understand how inputs and outputs work, then you can't build this. I'm sorry. If you don't have an understanding of how that works, because all this is, is a big button, guys. All it is, is a very big button. <laughs> so you can hook this up to whatever you want. You can hook it up to a Jeb door. You can hook it up to a 3x3 door, 4x4 door, whatever you want to open up, go ahead. Me, I just have it hooked up to an iron door because I'm just trying to make this tutorial as easy as possible. Now, if you're looking at this, if you've ever seen another four button combination lock, of course, there are smaller designs. There is the Norlatch design design which I did not take that route I went with the piston route the reason why I did this is because Norlatch designs they have one flaw that is if you put in the wrong combination it could still possibly open up mine if you put the wrong combination in it resets it so as you see if I put in a three here now mine's four one three two so if I put it in a different combination it won't work so if I, let's say I put a three in as you can see no blocks went up on this side but two blocks went up on this side now once these blocks reach the end over here which will create the current to go all the way through it will reset everything so I put a three in there and let's say i want to put a two in there you know uh boom two i just see another block went up on this side but no blocks went up on this side now let's say i want to put a four in. now four is the first number we need however if i put the four in it doesn't matter it will still reset it because we put the wrong combination in we put the wrong four numbers in you have to put a four in well you don't have to it depends on what your combination is you have to put mine's four one three two so i have to put a four then i have to put a one as you see one block went up on that side but two are up on this side then when i put my three in two blocks will go up on this side but three blocks are up on this side and then when i put my last two in it will open up the door but then it will also reset it after it's done so that's how it pretty much works guys a very easy way how it works and all that stuff but you have to put the right combo in to make it work so let's just start building this thing guys all right guys so i usually always give a definite spacing for my builds however this one's pretty big and <laughs> i just don't feel like <laughs> i'm being pretty lazy but if you do want to know the definitions of this build it's going to be a 10 by 11 spacing and you're gonna to have to have enough room to dig down too so you can do this straight off of flatlands just fine so for this build we i will give you the amount of resources you will need though for this build we're gonna need one sticky piston nine regular pistons 27 redstone repeaters 20 redstone torches five buttons 61 redstone dust just grab a handful i mean it's pretty close to it nine pieces of sand and we're also going to need some blocks just to put our redstone down on and some blocks of choice so what we're gonna first do is pretty much just take out a few things we're going to need of course let me get a few things out there we go and we're going to pretty much just start off by building our ooh, wrong block we're going to start off by building our keypad so pretty much just take four blocks of any color that you want i'm going to be using black and then just put buttons all along like that and next we're going to do swing over to the back hand side i'm going to put torches off all the blocks and then on the right hand side and left hand side we're going to put a block up like this and like this and put dust right along them this will come out of these two torches on the top then we're going to come right down here. We're going to put four repeaters facing away from our torches. And that will set up our whole key. This is our whole key right here. So if I click the four, the third one comes on. If I click the three, the second one will come on. If I click the first one, the first one will come on. And the, well, off, actually. Everything's going off. And then the second one should be the fourth one. And it will go off. Next, what I want you to do is in front of every repeater is dig down two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. Next, we're going to put another row of repeaters. One, two, three, four. And dig down two again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two another four repeaters one two one two one two one two and then one last time one two three four one two one two one two one two now we should have four little areas dug down as you see one two three four dug down that's for each button so you know our first cop it actually works backwards so our first number is going to be back here then our second number third number fourth number and then our door opens up so this is pretty much where you come into place you have to add your own key now i'm doing four one three two you can do whatever number you want you just have to figure out where the numbers go so i'm going to be doing four first so as you see four right here is the third repeater so all i have to do is follow the third repeater all the way to the back then right down in this hole what we're going to do is put a block up in front of our our third repeater now this is if you're doing the same combo as me if you're doing a different combo then you have to figure out where your repeaters are going so if let's say if i wanted a one then my one would go here if i wanted a three my three would go here and if i wanted two my two would go here however i'm using four we're gonna put a block up with redstone dust right there so that's gonna be our first button that we have to click 
Now one is right here. One is easy to find because one is always the first one. So we swing all the way down to the second one. As you see, this is the first one. Now the second one is gonna be our one. So we're gonna put a block up with a piece of dust like that. So that's four, one. Now when we hit three, it should be the second repeater. So there's the second repeater. Follow it to the third line. Put a block up here with dust like that. So that's gonna be four, one, three. And then the two we already know is just this one. So I'm just gonna put it right here like that. So that's our combination right there. Four, one, three, two. Now, if you wanna do whatever combination you want, you're gonna to have to figure out where to put your dust. So you know, you're gonna put a block up with dust here, block up with dust there, depending on how you want your combination to go. Next, what I want you to do is pretty much just dig out two more on each right hand side. So one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. And then bring the dust all the way over to here. So pretty much just bring your dust all the way over to each block like that. There we go. And then we're gonna dig down one here. Well, you only have to dig down one. I'm gonna be digging down two here, just to put another block here. Just put a block up in front of every piece of redstone dust like that, and put a torch right above each one. So put a torch right above each individual one. Next, what I want you to do is put blocks in front of every single one of these repeaters. So pretty much just take out your blocks and just literally just bring it in front of every repeater like that. So bring it in front of every repeater. I see our dust comes on, thus turning these torches off. That's what we want. So make sure your dust comes on down here. Beautiful. And then just put blocks in front of every repeater. Beautiful. Next, what we're gonna do is right above every single one of these off torches, we're gonna put a piston, a regular piston facing upwards. So we're gonna put a piston here, 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 and there, there we go. And we're gonna put sand right above each piston, like that. Next, what I want you to do is take out your blocks and put them in between each sand block, like so. Boop. And then what we're gonna do is going towards our key over there. See how our key's all the way down there? We're gonna put repeaters going all the way down in between each sand block. So we're gonna put a repeater here, 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 and there in between each sand block. And then right here at the last repeater, we're gonna put a block up behind our repeater, a block down from here, delete this middle block and put a redstone torch here. Now we get to test our, our key. Make sure to make sure your key works, we get to test it here. So mine is four, one, three, two. So if I put a four in that last repeater, right, I mean that last piston right there should extend up. So if I put a four in, as you see, it went up. Now, if I put a one in, it goes up four, one, three, and then two. So as you see, every single one went up. This will open up my door. So if yours did not do this, then you did something wrong and you messed up somewhere on your combination lock. And you're going to have to go back and fix it. The way to fix it is right down here. This is the only fault you could have had where it would have uh, broken. So if you did not do this part right with your key lock, then this is where your uh, problem occurred. As you see, mine worked absolutely fine. And to reset it, once you're done, just to reset it, just delete this torch and put it back and that will reset it. Now what we're gonna do is pretty much put in it so in case we mess up, it will reset it so no one can get in. Like, you know, they can't just start, you know, come over here and just start hitting every button. Cause if they do this, see, if you if you just randomly hit all the buttons, it will eventually open up. Like see, that block went up over there. If I just keep randomly hitting buttons, it should eventually open up the door, see? I just hit random buttons there and it opened up the door. It doesn't matter. So that's where that fail safe comes in. This is where the fail safe comes in so people can't keep whacking buttons until it opens up. So how do you do your fail safe is pretty much find wherever your key block is. So the first one here is four. This is my key. So it's mine's gonna be four, one, three, and two. If you don't remember where you put it, it's easy to figure out by just going down here and figure out where the block is. So we come down here. I see this is where my four is. So pretty much what we're gonna do is put torches along all the tops of these blocks. Just put torches all along the top of them so mine is going to be four so my, i know my four is on the third one so four one three and two like i said if you can't remember where it is just go down here wherever you see the dust coming up delete the torch above it wherever you see the dust coming up on this block delete the torch above it you have to make sure there's no torch above the block that has the dust underneath it make sure that or it will not work next what we're going to do is put blocks above every single one of these off torches like so, just bring a row of blocks above them. This is gonna be our fail safe. So if someone puts in the wrong combination, it resets. Da, 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 da. And then we're gonna put a row right above this one. Boop. Da, 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 da. And then we're gonna put redstone dust along the whole entire blocks. One all the way over, like so. So just put a whole, all redstone dust along every block. There we go. Next, what we're gonna do is come down a block next to this torch. I'm gonna put a block right here, like this come down a block doesn't really matter how you do it just come down a block like that and like that and we're gonna put redstone dust all along these blocks as well 
There we go. Next, what we're gonna do is pretty much make another, uh, pretty much a piston sand little line right here on this side as well. So every everywhere we came down with this dust right here, we're just gonna put a piston facing upwards. I'm gonna put a sand block right above them. So put a sand block right above each piston. Then right in between them all, we're gonna put blocks like we did on that side over there. Just put blocks in between them all. Then we're gonna come out two blocks on this side, on the back side over here. And we're gonna put dust right here on this block. And we're gonna put a repeater coming out of the dust and then put repeaters in between each block like so. Actually, I'm pretty sure you don't have to put dust on. Yeah, put redstone dust on the end of this one instead. There we go. Next, what we're gonna do is just put a torch down right underneath this block. So just come down a block underneath it and put a torch here. This will activate this dust and this repeater. Next, what I want you to do is literally, all we're gonna do is just bring this wrapping all the way around and we're gonna, it's going to pretty much reset this and it's gonna also reset this one over here. So we're just gonna bring this down a block like that, bring it down another block and then put redstone dust all along these blocks and then pretty much just bring it all the way down to like uh, right here, I think is yeah, right here where this last piston is, is where we gotta bring it down to. We're gonna put a repeater coming out of the dust on one tick delay put a block in front of it, and then we're gonna be putting a bead of dust right here. So a little tiny piece of redstone dust should be right next to this block with a torch on it, looking like that. Next, what we're gonna do is come out to the side of this redstone dust, and then going into this torch block over here. So let me delete this for a second. Going into the block with the torch on it, we're gonna put two repeaters like this, and like that, and put them both on four ticks delay. This will just create a pulse extension to keep this torch off for uh, a certain amount of time, and it will also keep this torch off for a certain amount of time. Next, what I want you to do is coming out of the block with the torch right here, we're gonna put another repeater on one tick delay, and then literally just bring redstone dust all the way down to the block with this torch, so it resets this part. So now if we put in the wrong number, everything will be reset. So if I, let's say mine used to be 4132, so mine's 4132, now if I put a three in instead, See how two blocks went up on this side and none went up on this side. Then I put a two in on this side. A block went up this side, but now I'm gonna put a four in. The four is my first number, so now I'm gonna put my four in. But as you can see, it still resets everything because we put in the wrong numbers. We have to put in the right numbers for it to work. So four, one, three, two. I see all my numbers went in right, but however, I don't have it set up so it resets everything just yet. Now to reset everything, once you get the whole number in and you want every everything's right, we want it to reset. So let me take out a different color. So now we're gonna be using yellow wool here. So what you wanna do is just put a block right in front of this last repeater at your combination lock, put dust here, and all we're gonna do is wrap this dust all the way over to here. So to do that, all we're gonna do is come out the blocks all the way down. Now, right where these torches are, we have to use glowstone or we have to use upside down slabs. I like using upside down slabs because they're easier to get. However, if you can't, I don't know why people still won't be able to use upside down slabs. That just means you haven't updated your Minecraft yet. But if you can't, you can use glowstone. I'm gonna be using upside down slabs. So make sure you use upside down slabs here and then just bring it all the way down and put a block up right here. That's what I want you to do is bring this dust all the way down to right here and then put a repeater going into this block next to this redstone dust. So boop, and as you see, it resets everything. So now if I put my code in four, one, three, two, it activates it and then resets everything. That's what we want it to do. Next, what we're gonna do is pretty much just put our output in. Well, I'm pretty sure, no, our input in, sorry. <laughs> this is gonna be our input. So this is pretty much anything that hooks to this will activate it. So I have mine hooked to an iron door over there. You can have it hooked into whatever you want it to hook into. So all we're gonna do is come underneath the block, put some redstone dust here, put a piston facing upwards with sand on top of it. Then coming out the right hand side of it, we're gonna put a repeater on one tick of delay, put a block in front of the repeater, and then right underneath the block, we're gonna put our sticky piston. So take out your sticky piston, put your sticky piston right underneath it with a block in front of it like that. So now if I, or you can put it, can I put it to the side? No, you have to put it that way, there we go. So if I put in my code now, four, one, three, two, this will activate and see how this block got pushed away. That's because of this monostable circuit. It will push the block away. And then right underneath this block should be a torch like that. So now anything coming out from this block will be activated. As you can see, the dust is on. So anything that you want to hook it to, whatever you wanted to hook it to, there you go, guys. That's how you build this very, very easy build. Now, uh, you know, I'm just going to hook it to an iron door. You know, I'm just going to hook it to an iron door just for fun. <laughs> so let me take out an iron door real quick. We're just going to put the iron door right here. We're going to, uh, one more down, actually. We're going to put the iron door here. We're just going to bring our dust out like this. Then we're going to put a repeater here and take out our blocks of choice 
like this. We're not completely done actually yet. And as you can see, the door opens up. And then if I put any power to this piston right here, any power to this sticky piston, it will close the door. So if I put a button right above it, it closes the door. See, any power that goes to this will close it. Next, what we're gonna do actually is put in our reset button. Now, this is in case you know someone might've been playing around with this thing, and it, it's just gonna be a, a hassle to get it to uh, get back to its original state. So you have to click your reset button to make sure it resets. So right here where this block is, where the dust comes down, we're just gonna put another block right here, put a repeater going into it, and then put a block up in front of that repeater, and then put a button here, and this is where your reset button goes. This will reset everything. So like if I put in a few numbers, let's say I just put it one in, uh, two in, as you see, we got some blocks put up here. It looks like this because someone was playing around with it. If we just hit our reset button, it resets everything. So there you guys have it. That's how you build my four button combination lock. You are completely done. So now all you have to do is clean it up and make it look nice. So just put some blocks like this, like this. There we go. There we go. Ba, 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 ba. Make everything look beautiful. And there we have it. Now, like I said, this right here is your input. Anything that hooks to this. Now, in all my builds, pretty much all my builds, that is like a 3x3 door, so on and so forth. I have a red block. This will be your output block. So anything that goes into the red block will activate it. So if you see it on my 3x3 doors, if you see it on anything, this is where you will hook it up to. So pretty much, like I said, just bring this wherever you want to and you just, just activate whatever you want. Look, I wanted to activate a sticky piston with a block on top of it. So four one three two and it activates my well it should activate it but it didn't for some reason let me there we go <laughs> it activates my sticky piston with a block on it thank you redstone stuff <laughs> hopefully when that update comes out it'll be a lot funner but there you guys have it that's how you build my four button combination lock if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace